Hey guys, Trust Ted here, Tesla owner, Silicon Valley, with another review. I'm gonna be taking my Model Y with the stock 21 inch Uber Turbine wheels on a range test. So I'm gonna be driving 10.3 miles on the highway and 5.7 in the city. So a total of 16 miles, and we'll be doing that loop, loop multiple times. And then we get the average consumption. And the reason that we're gonna do that is we're gonna be comparing these rims and tires to the Martian rims and tires. Hey guys, I'm at the tire shop, actually Skip's Tire. You can see the tires in the back seat here. Gonna be changing out my 21 inch Uber turbine for the Martian wheels. I've actually also recorded on the screen the trips. Uh, I guess I'll show you that real quick. Um, so you can see sort of like my history of the 21 inch wheels. Um, for reference, the control case that I did, it's a 256 I mean, watt hour per mile. So that's the control test and we'll put the Martians on and then we'll see how the efficiency is then. I changed out the wheels and I just wanted to show you that I um, renamed and reset my energy guide here. So uh, I'll be able to keep track for him from a historical perspective. But my first impression, I'll tell you already, is that it's the car feels lighter. I know that sounds crazy, but it does. Okay, I wanna explain really quickly why reducing the weight of the wheels gets you more range. And it has to do with uh, three weights that are associated with the vehicle unsprung weight, sprung weight, and I'll show you shortly the rotational mass. But basically, sprung weight is anything that's held up by the suspension of the vehicle, which obviously is a lot of weight. It's the body of the car and so on. Unsprung weight is actually more critical to reduce. Uh, this is anything below the suspension. So this is gonna be the wheels, the tires, brakes, and so on. It turns out that unsprung weight, when you reduce a pound of it, it's roughly equivalent to reducing like four times the sprung weight. Uh, we're going to link to an article below if you really want to see more information on that. And the other one that I just want to again show you is rotational mass. So uh, this is just as it sounds. Again, apologize for the bad drawing here, but basically the less energy, the less weight on the vehicle, the wheel, the easier it is for the car to turn. And again, the less energy you have to turn means it's more efficient. So this is the background and what you're gonna find is that fully forged wheels are actually the best wheels to go with for lighter weight and lighter rotational mass. All right, so I've taken three trips with the 21 inch stock Uber turbine wheels and we recorded what the consumption was and now I'm going to take three trips, same exact route with the Martian wheels and tires, the MW03s, and then we'll check what that consumption is. I thought I'd also share some reasons why I actually selected these Martian rims. First is these are fully forged. And one of the things that I learned is fully forged wheels are really the strongest and the lightest. And it's different than other processes. So um, make sure that you know that's something that you look at is the weight of your uh, existing wheels and then whatever you're looking at, make sure that they're lighter. I also really like the fact that these wheels uh, I'm going to show you a photo here and hopefully you can see it reasonably well. There's a kind of like this ribbing or corrugation on the inside of the rim and that is actually to help the tire grip, especially with all the torque that EVs have. Um, you actually, if you actually had enough torque, the tire actually might slip inside the rim and that ribbing will really help prevent that from happening. So, so that was a big factor. Uh, Martian actually, not only do they sell the rims, you can just buy them, or you can have them mount the wheels uh, with the Tesla TPS sensor, everything. So uh, I think that that's a good thing to do. So, you know, the bottom line here is these things are improving the range and the efficiency. I just wanted to share these reasons and also obviously they look amazing okay i want to share with everybody the results here of the multiple drives so again we have the 21 inch uber turbine wheels and then the 20 inch martian mw03s so 
each of these routes, this is a, uh, a trip out and then back, each one of these is 16 total miles, 10.3 highway and 5.7 on the city. The route actually has 52 feet of elevation change. So on the way outs, those are downhills and on the way back, it's uphill. And so it's, uh, you'll see that uh, for both wheels, the downhill is less than the uphill. What's really interesting is that the downhill is extremely similar for the both wheels, but where the Martian wheels really shine is on the uphill. It takes quite a bit less energy on the uphills. And that makes sense because there's less rotational mass. And so it takes less energy to overcome the forces of gravity. So the net, as I like to say, is that the average for the stock 21 inch Uber turbine is 256.2 watt hour per mile on this route. And then for the Martian wheels, it's 246.5. And that's just about a, that's a 4% improvement, which is gonna result in more range. So let's wrap this up next. Okay, before I wrap up the video, I also just thought it would be very interesting to look at the lifetime driven on the 21 inch Uber turbine wheels was 278 watt hour per mile. And then if you look here, I've got just over 800 miles on the Martian 20 inch rims and the consumption there, that's the green circle, 263. So that is actually over 5%, close to 6% improvement. So really interesting, right? That the a controlled case which was only controlled to the effect that I could you know obviously can't control traffic and so on um, that showed just about four percent this is showing almost six percent so I think this is concrete data that these lighter stronger wheels are bringing more efficiency and will bring more range